Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. I have another question. Can't stick to a healthy eating plan? Well, if that's your issue, you definitely need to watch this. So number one, you want to decide that you want to get healthy. You want to decide you're going to start and do this right. The anatomy of a problem is indecision. It's a maybe. So all you have to do is decide. Deciding is almost like a therapy in itself, okay? Because it, you, you're making your mind up. Okay, so people are stuck in this doubt. Maybe I should do it. I was the worst. I had to wait till I was 28 years old before I decided to start eating healthy. I ate like crap. I had to be dying before I finally, like, that's it, I'm done. I'm gonna start eating healthy, okay? So don't, just learn from my mistakes. So we wanna, um, secondly, realize that our bodies are stupid, they're not very intelligent. Okay, so that's why they'll, they'll demand, like they'll create this impulse, like I have to eat this donut or some people are addicted to drugs or alcohol. It doesn't differentiate what's good or bad. It just does it. It wants something for the moment. If your blood sugars are low, it, it'll tell you to eat that sugar, okay? So you realize that the body is not very intelligent when it comes down to cravings and eating, okay? Number three, reduce your body cravings. You might have a physical craving Okay, now you have habits of eating bad foods, but let's say you have a physical craving that your body needs sugar or carbs, okay? You can get rid of that. You can get rid of it. But here's the thing. When you lower your carbohydrate, it won't work because in order for you to run your body on fat fuel, you must understand that the purpose of fat is to act as a backup fuel for sugar. And so you must starve your body of sugar before the fat's actually burned. Starvation means zero sugar. It doesn't mean reducing your carbohydrates. It means zero sugar in the diet. So if you do zero sugar, what your body's gonna do between now and the next three days to maybe two weeks, it's gonna start to build new machinery to start burning more fat. So it's gonna take a process, but if you cut the sugar out completely, you're gonna find your cravings gonna go right down to zero because your body's now forced to burn fat. When you're burning fat, you crave nothing. Okay? I don't expect you to do this with cravings, so we must bring sugars down to zero. We must start eating healthy, but you can't keep any hidden sugar in the house. So you have to, this is what I want you to do. I want you to pause this video right now, and I want you to go through the house, go through your refrigerator, go through the cupboards, and get the junk out of the trunk. Take all the hidden sugar, all your stash, and shoot it in the garbage. Go ahead and just waste it. It's not helping you. Don't give it to the neighbors. Don't give it to your kids. Just get it out of the house. Why? Because the body is stupid. It's not, it's, when you, when, it, when the blood sugars go low, you're gonna be searching and roaming and trying to find that sweet and you're gonna eat it because it, it can't differentiate uh, for you. It's not gonna actually give you the right answer all the time. So you gotta get the sugar out of the house, okay? Just not make it available. Number four, very, very important, we have to plan a little bit more in advance. This is kind of a hidden step. That, so you wanna, like, let me just ask you a question first. Um, how do you know what you're gonna eat the next meal? Do you just wait for your body to tell you what to eat? Or do you just eat what's available, okay, in the house? That's why you need to get the sugar out of the house. You need to actually have your house, um, like, plan out for the week, like, have food in the house that you know is healthy. Very important, don't keep any junk. Don't keep no food. Keep some good food in the house so you actually, what's available is only good food, okay? I mean, it sounds simple, but it's very, very important. So um, the worst thing you need to do is like, let your blood sugars crash and go, wow, what am I in the mood for today? Uh, Chinese food, no, that's not good, okay? A banana split, no, that's not good. So you wanna eat consistently and you wanna kinda of plan out your meals, whether it's every three days or the whole week. So you have a plan, okay? And wanna make it simple because you don't wanna spend all your time in the kitchen. Like I'll give you an example. My salad, sometimes I will only have lettuce. It's really simple, it's fast. I don't make it very complex. All the meals are very, very, very simple. It's a couple different ingredients. I don't sit there for hours and make all these complex meals. I have simple things, couple things, and make it quick eat it, and I'm out the door. You wanna just kind of, again, again, we wanna to decide to eat for health, not necessarily always for pleasure, okay? So these are some tips to help you stick to it. I think they're important uh, because it's really time that you do stick to it because, um, you know, 
I look at this as kind of a preventative measure. You're, it's like real health insurance. Either you're going to pay the farmer now and get healthy, or you're going to pay big pharma later for drugs. So why not just invest in your health now as your preventative health insurance, okay? So go do it, and I will see you in the next video.